Silva Pastures, the sustainable integration of livestock, trees, and forages on the same unit of land. There's a few purposes. It, it definitely adds to the sustainable um, use of the system. So you're, you're utilizing multiple components from the system. You have a tree crop, you have a livestock crop, and you have a forage crop, which not only supports your livestock crop, but it also helps maintain some of the nutrient cycling on the site and you have this multi-layered um, system. Uh, well, silver pasture is the intentional combination of trees and livestock from small birds like we have here to ruminants or even you know larger, larger animals potentially. And that can be bringing them into the woods or it can be bringing the woods to them. Um, we're thinning out some pieces here that are uh, going to be future silver pasture that are currently woods and we're also bringing trees into the pasture so um, it's really figuring out the, the balance between those two uh, and it really depends on the species of trees and the species of animals going to really make the system very uh, very unpredictable and, and unique in each situation. In our case here we have silver pastures that are developed from plantations such as this black locust, black walnut plantation around us. This was planned in 1988. It's about 26 years old. It's been thinned three times over the past nine years for locust fence posts. Some of the trees are marked in blue. Those are trees that will be thinned again later this summer. And the whole key to civil pasture management is thinning out the trees to get enough sunlight on the ground to grow quality forages for the animals. And fortunately the same type of thinning that would be done to promote uh, growth of the best timber is also the same type of thinning that usually needs to be done to grow good quality forages for the livestock. So civil pasturing can be thought of as removing all the lower quality firewood type trees in order to grow forages.